hello viewers thank you for liking my videos and here i come up with more ideas of games and activities that you can have in your class let's begin the first two games that i'm going to share with you can be taken as opening activities or ice breakers for students it can be taken in your online class or in your regular class the physical class that you take in school so the first game is called would you rather for this you need to give a simple instruction to the students that would you rather would be followed by two alternatives and they have to show you one finger if they are choosing option 1 and two fingers if they are choosing option 2 for example would you rather fly or be invisible for a day would you rather have an ice cream or fruit salad would you rather play an online game or badminton with your friend so this is how they will show you fingers and this is just an ice breaker they can open up more in the class you can change the options and the theme of your question according to the level of students second activity is called hot potato now as the name suggests the potato is too hot that you cannot hold it for long in your hand the simple instruction that goes with it is the teacher would start with a word and imagine a hot potato in his or her hand now if you are taking a physical class in your regular school you can take a ball or any uh, any sponge ball in your hand and uh, feel like it's a potato and passing it on to others you are playing that game but if you are taking your class online that is virtually then you can imagine that you are holding a hot potato in your hand and you are passing it on to the other student now the rule is whatever word comes to your mind listening to the first word the prior word you have to say that word and you have to pass on the pot potato to the next one um taking the name of the person for an example um let's start apple tom now tom would say uh, red jerry now jerry would say rose angela then angela would say anything so this is how it would go on one has to pass on the hot potato to anyone else it will keep on going till all students of your class have a turn you may set an instruction like nobody should take the uh, repeated name if one student has its turn so nobody else should take the name again and finally the last student would take the teacher's name to end it so this is just an ice breaker it will help students to build their confidence know each other better and enjoy in the class the third game is called nameless modify the game and your hints as per the grade level of students now what you have to do the students have to guess what you are talking about and you will drop hints for example nameless has wings nameless can fly nameless is non living yes it's a helicopter or uh, let's take another example nameless is extremely hot nameless is huge very big nameless is far away nameless is a star oh you got it it's sun so that is how you can build your story or theme the fourth game is what if now what if followed by whatever topic you are taking you can have a question for the students it helps students to brainstorm think critically and creatively for example what if there were no numbers oh then uh, there were uh, no time there was uh, no uh, marks assess assessment would not be there there would be no house numbers there would be no mobile numbers there would be no computers because they are on binary code uh, 0 and 1 so this is how students can give their answers on what if there were no numbers similarly you can ask uh, for example what if there were no plants 
so let students answer they may answer something like uh, there would be no animals there would be no oxygen uh, we get our food from plants so we would die so they will build on their answers like that linking them to the logic of your question what if there was no youtube you would not be watching my video right now <laughs> Anyhow, let's proceed further. Coming to the fifth game that you can play with your students and that would help enhance their English speaking skills also, their creative thinking also, is spin a yarn. Now as you spin a yarn, students are going to weave a story which they do not know. The teacher would just give a starting line. Then each of them have to start their sentence with fortunately and unfortunately alternatively i'll give you one example for example the teacher started uh, a story with the sentence i went to an ice cream parlor passed on to the next student the next student would start from fortunately fortunately my favorite flavor was available the other student would start with unfortunately unfortunately the whole stock of that flavor was already ordered third student fortunately the person was still standing and i could request him to leave some for me then fourth unfortunately that person didn't agree to my request and so on so this is how spin a yarn goes you can give any sentence again it may be related to your topic your subject modify it according to the level of students i hope you enjoyed these uh, five ideas of games and activities and you are smart enough to modify it as per your grade level you all are creative i hope these ideas will be helpful this is priya handa i would suggest you to please subscribe my channel to keep getting such videos press the bell button for the notifications and like share and comment god bless you all